Governor Obaseke begins 150 km street lighting project. Hello, my amazing family. It's a full-time job. Believing in yourself. No days off. Please don't forget to give us a like or a thumbs up if this is the first time. Thank you. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseke has reaffirmed his commitment to the welfare of Edo citizens as the state commences the installation of statewide 150 km street lighting project. The project, which is part of his administration's industrialization plan and a component of the ongoing Edo Electricity Initiative, was aimed at improving security of life and property as well as recreating a ninth life to boost the economic of the state. The project, which commenced in 2019, was designed to be executed in two phases and powered by the 55 MW CCE to C OC Omo power plant. Phase one of the project covers about 50 kilometers of the major streets within Benin City and some parts of Aoshi and is expected to be completed in December this year. The designated streets within Benin City include Inner Ring Road, Alton Ring Road, Stadia Road, Urban Market Road, Zabayo Road, Akenzua Road, Adeshogbe, Plymouth, Hehakbe, TV Road, Siloko Road to Ego Markets, Akbakbava Road to Ramat Park, Saple Road to Country Home, Mote Road, Ajip, Airport Road to Ogba Zoological Garden, and New Lagos Road to Ugbowo Main Gate Axis of the city, amongst others. The streets in Awoshi include Awuchi Jatu, Otaru Polytechnic Road, and Jatu Township Road. Phase 2 of the project, which covers about 100 km in length and targets major towns areas in Edo Central, North and South Senatorial District, would commence after the successful completion of phase one please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is a first time thank you in an interview with one of the project engineers it was guarded that the street lighting project was specially designed according to the peculiar terrains of the state with 320 watts led which can hardly be found elsewhere in Nigeria. The bulbs, when powered, can light up areas even beyond its scope due to the high range of illumination. Reacting to the development, some Edo residents described the ongoing street lightning project as a laudable one. They said that the street lights will help reduce crimes and ameliorate security challenges currently facing residents and businesses in the state. Their project implementation team assured a door residents of sustainable and uninterrupted power supply for areas that will be captured in the project. The light is expected to be powered on from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. daily. It was learned that the project was designed with a five-year warranty and it is expected that by the end of December this year, phase one of the project would have been completed. 
even as some areas have already been lit up. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. It is a welcome development, sir. But the most important thing here is to maintain the said lights. In another related segment, Abaseki inaugurates Science Technology Development Committee. The Edo State Governor, Mr. Godwin Abaseki, yesterday inaugurated Professor Kessington as the chairman of the Edo State Science, Technology and Innovation Committee charged with developing a strategy that will make the state a hub for science, technology and innovation. Abaseki, while inaugurating the committee at Government House Benin City, said the move is part of the government's efforts to drive growth in various sectors of the state, leveraging technology. He said, as you are all aware, today's world is about technology and any state or government that fails to take advantage of scientific development and information will be left in the dark. The Kurokuro 19 error has shown that technology is important for any state that wishes to survive dislocations brought by the pandemic. Well, please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is a first time. Thank you. We are lucky, blessed, and fortunate to be affiliated with experts and leaders in the area of proliferating science and technology. We felt these people should be put together as a group to help us articulate very clearly the direction we should be going in terms of building a new scientific and technological society. Obaseki issued some of the terms of reference for the committee to include helping the state to draft a policy on science, technology, and innovation as stipulated in the national policy of science, technology, and innovation. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is a first time. Thank you. The committee should also assist the state in developing a strategy to improve the awareness on science, technology, and innovation at the grassroots. They should assist in developing a strategy that will make a those state the all of science, technology, and innovation within and outside the country. If we become a tech hub, we can now proliferate technology across Nigerian. Also, the committee should help in developing a strategy for the deployment of science, technology, and innovation through public-private partnership collaborations, he said. Responding, Professor Kessington thanked Abaseki for the privilege given to the committee to serve the state. I want to assure you that the committee will do its best to put the state on a global map in terms of science, technology, and innovation, he said. Please give this video a like and please hit on the notification button for more authentic news. Bye.